Welcome to the driver's seat. This is the all new 2021 Cadillac Escalade, the king of full size luxury SUVs, better than Range Rover, better than BMW, better than all of them. And I'm going to tell you why. We're going to start with the front fascia of the all new Escalade. And I'm really impressed with what they've done here. So you have an all new grill. We've seen hints of this grill in the Escala concept a few years ago, and we're seeing it in some of their uh, other vehicles uh, like the XT6, but this is uh, very special, this massive grille, and I, I love the, the thin, kind of slim headlights. You know, so many car companies like Lexus struggle with the grille. That spindle grille has been a disaster for Lexus, but Cadillac has nailed it, not just with the look, but the proportions, uh, where the lo logo is located, but also uh, love this kind of brushed uh, aluminum look. Uh, this is a very uh, luxurious looking vehicle, and it's a luxurious vehicle inside and out. One of the things that Audi has mastered is that when you walk up to their vehicles, uh, there's a light symphony going on. And I got to tell you, Cadillac has done it even better. Uh, whether you come up from the rear or from the front, the way this thing lights up, the way it greets you. And one thing that Audi doesn't have is if you look over here behind the dash, you see the Cadillac logo that actually lights up when you're approaching the vehicle. So it's all these little subtle cues. And uh, you know, we've only had 24 hours with this vehicle, but I, I, I wish I could have 24 months with it because it's really the epitome of what a luxury SUV should be. We know that the architecture of the Escalade is shared with the Tahoe and the Yukon. But one thing that is unique to the Escalade line is that everyone gets a 6.2 liter V8, over 400 horsepower made into a 10 speed automatic transmission. You can get the 6.2 as an optional engine on the Tahoe and the Yukon on the upper trim levels, but it's standard on this. And I gotta tell you, this thing just gets up and goes. Uh, so much power, it's quick, it's nimble, and it made it with this transmission and uh, this air suspension. I gotta tell you, this thing is just a dream to drive. All right, before we get going on, on the drive itself, uh, let's take a look at this interior, which is stunning. Uh, I, I just love everything that they've done, steering wheel, but really it's this 38 inch, square inches of high definition OLED display that is just brilliant. This screen is only about as thick as a piece of paper and um, they're able to curve it, kind of surround the driver. And just, I just love what they've done here. I thought Mercedes-Benz really nailed it, but in my opinion, Cadillac took it even a, a step further, especially when you consider the price point. And uh, it, it's just just stunning. One of the features in here uh, is is the ability to, uh, to search. You can just uh, search for anything you want, just like you would on a computer. And um, really, it's just impressive displays all, all around. Uh, Cadillac really, uh, really went to town on this vehicle. And, and I just love what they've done. I mean, I'm not even gonna talk about Apple CarPlay and those kind of things because those are things we expect. Uh, the vehicle itself uh, has a slightly longer wheelbase, just like the Tahoe and the Yukon, which we've discussed in previous videos. Now you have an independent rear suspension, but the magnetic ride control, uh, which Cadillac tells us is this is the only luxury vehicle in, in you know, and it's class that has that. Well, of course, but they, they also offer it now in the Yukon and the, and the uh, Tahoe, but uh, it checks the, it, it's monitoring the road a thousand times per second. It's the fastest the suspension system in the world. And uh, you have that in this vehicle. Now, one mistake I made in my opening remark was that the vehicle is only available with a 6.2 liter. Uh, I stand corrected. There is a three liter eco diesel option which could make a lot of sense. Now, one thing we didn't get, which we're a little disappointed with, is uh, our test vehicle doesn't have Super Cruise. If it did, you'd have this green light up here that would light up when, when it's in Super, Cru Super Cruise. Uh, if we did have Super Cruise, the steering wheel would be different and would have this green light on top. We've used that system before, the CT6. It's brilliant, and I'm glad they're finally putting it in vehicles that really matter to me, the SUVs and the trucks, because you're more likely to take those on longer hauls. Uh, so our test vehicle doesn't have it, but we know the system very well. And I, I think that's, that's a game changer. So if you are going to get an SUV and go on long trips, uh, there is no better autonomous system you could buy today. Um, obviously down the road, that'll change, but everything about this vehicle, um, is really, uh, really quite, 
quite stunning. They just how they, how they handled the, uh, you know, all the textures, like the contrast piping uh, on the leather, and um, you know, we could talk more and more about this, but let's let's take it for a drive. That's really uh, what this is about. So the Escalade has tremendous presence inside and out. Um, it's just it's just so uh, comfortable, but also, you know, it's pretty sporty. And because of the magnetic ride control, because of the independent rear, because of the stiffer chassis, because of all the things that they've done, uh, this is actually a, a real uh, a real game changer as far as hundred thousand dollars. Let's call let's say ninety to one hundred and ten that range. Uh, full-size SUVs. If you look at everything else that's out there, it, it really has just taken a back seat to, uh, to the Escalade. And why not? I mean, this is, Cadillac has always been about luxury. And they're still about luxury. It's just, they're no longer about luxury sedans and, and coupes. They're about luxury SUVs and crossovers. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So we're gonna, you can just see how, you know, how nimble it is. But when it needs to be, plenty of power. A 10 speed automatic transmission, uh, they have really dialed that in. They've been perfecting that for the last few years and uh, it's good. It's, I, I hope they stop at 10. I don't want to see 12 or 14 speeds. 10 is more than enough. Uh, six to eight was enough for me, but uh, t 10 is definitely uh, the limit as far as I'm concerned. So we're gonna just take this on a quick little freeway uh, ramp here just to, just to show you that, it, it, and I like this particular ramp because I've taken other vehicles and vehicles like this, and they have a lot of body roll. Even the Lexus LX570, which is one of my favorites, uh, just because of its off-road capability and legendary durability. But uh, that vehicle had so much body roll, whereas this one is just flat, stable. And that's the magnetic ride control working and uh, working to give you a balanced level uh, drive. And that's, uh, that's a lot, that's a lot for a vehicle that is this big, so. It would be interesting to test the, the Eco Diesel at some point. See, you got this nice, slightly banked ramp here, but it's just so effortless to drive this vehicle, you know, considering its size. Uh, you can see it's just planted. The 22-inch wheels and tires are uh, not only look good, but uh, you know they help with the performance. I wouldn't mind a little more sidewall, maybe go down to 19s or 20s, but you don't get that look. But I, I would be so happy to drive this for the next couple of years. And it's going to be uh, it's going to be sad to give this one back, but hopefully we'll get it back for a for a full week test, and maybe even with the Eco Diesel. So as you can see, just uh, great presence. You know, a lot of great safety features. We mentioned Super Cruise, uh, but the head-up display and the adaptive cruise control, the lane keep assist, uh, the list just goes on and on. Uh, this Cadillac has really nailed it. This, this is the ultimate, in my opinion, when it comes to full-size luxury. It's no longer about sedans, full-size sedans. It's about full-size SUVs, and Cadillac started the game 22 years ago. Some would argue maybe a Range Rover 
started it, but full-size three-row SUVs, Cadillac definitely started it, and now they have perfected it. That's it's really good balance. Impressive, very impressive. I like what they've done. Uh, I like, I, most importantly is how they have differentiated this from, from the Tahoe and the Yukon. Like I mentioned, with every generation, I feel like they've done more of that. And this one by far has, has the most. Sure, they're gonna share the same platform. Underneath are the same vehicles. Um, but when you look at this interior, you look at the technology, you, you just, you could just see the separation uh, from the other, uh, the other GM SUVs. And that's important because when you're spending this kind of money, you, you want to know you're not just driving a rebadged Tahoe. And the first Escalade was just that, a rebadged Tahoe with maybe some fake wood and cheap leather. Not very impressive. This one, uh, this, is, this is a game changer. So I uh, really, uh, really enjoyed my time with it. Uh, we didn't talk much about utility, but this vehicle has the same utility as the Yukon and Tahoe. You can look at those videos, but now you have the second row seats that that uh, can move up and back, which you didn't have before. You got 12.6 inch uh, entertainment screens in the back, uh, individual screens, very uh, very large and and you know high high resolution. The way they've done the buttons here uh, is all the HVAC controls, just very, very uh, seamless and integrated. I mean, this this is a this is like a, a this is like a study in how to design a vehicle inside and out. And I don't understand why some companies really struggle with with design when others can just nail it. And uh, I think Cadillacs. Yeah, maybe they had some struggles in the past, but certainly now they uh, they have just, uh, in my opinion, redefined the segment. So if you need something this big, you you, you have options, uh, Navigator, for example, but uh, Navigator just doesn't have the presence, doesn't have the tech, in my opinion, as as uh, this Escalade. The light treatment throughout the Cadillac Escalade is brilliant, especially in the rear. Uh, they really nailed it. You might notice the 600 down here. That's something Cadillac's been doing. It refers to uh, the torque in Newton meters. Not a very relevant number for, for us here, but uh, it's, it's just something, uh, I guess, catchy that they're doing. Another thing catchy that they're doing is they put the lift gate kind of behind the Cadillac logo. I think it's a nice touch. Back here, very similar uh, configuration to what you would find in, you know, the Tahoe High Country. While the Escalade is just as functional as the Tahoe and the Yukon, the way they have distinguished themselves with the use of materials, the, the, the better quality leathers and woods and metals, uh, just really set it apart. Starting price, 85000 This vehicle, as tested, $101,000, which includes a 36 speaker sound system. My first car had four. 36, that's just mind-boggling. If you go with that upgraded sound system and you look at those speakers, they actually have uh, a metal cover to them. So really nice touches. I, I can't say enough good things about it. I wish I had 101,000 to, to blow on a car like this, but the people that do have that kind of money have several options. And to me, why would you buy a Bentley Bentayga when you could get something like this for about less than half the price? and in my opinion, twice the presence. I'm Ron Doran, thanks for watching. See you next time on the driver's seat.